are all packed up and ready to go. I think we're gonna probably have some breakfast and then we're catching the 1245 water taxi over to San Pedro. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Bye bye, Kay Cocker. You drop money. Just throwing it around. I got a wolf. You guys had to be leaving? Yeah. Yep. I like it. I'm looking forward to going to San Pedro as well. That's what's going on. Cool, I am. If we don't like it, we're coming straight back. <laughs> Belizean breakfast, which is fry jacks right there. Those are kind of a local specialty. And fried beans, eggs, and ham. So it was 10 in total, so that's five US dollars. Okay, um, got this, we've got everything. Oh, maybe the key would be good. Okay, off we go. We're just leaving. Hi. Hi. Bye, Bye Karib. Hello, Leavers. Ah, yes. <laughs> Whose backpack is almost as big as Linda's. <laughs> just got to the water taxi and they have a big bag you have to check it and they give you this little ticket and you buy your ticket to leave right here in this little hut if you didn't buy a return ticket so you can just kind of wing it it's the beauty of the island life you can wing it all hopefully we will beat the rain how much is it so for three, it means 30 or 15 US dollars each. Ooh. Much like the other one. Yeah. Maybe we each time you go on the water tank together. It's 30 billion each time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Got it. We just jumped into a taxi. Cause it, the original idea was we were gonna walk once we got to San Pedro, but it has been pouring. So the tropical storm is kind of here right now. So this is the weather that we're having today. Yay. Oh, and my bag got completely soaked on the boat right over. So I made a rookie mistake and didn't put the rain cover on it, which technically I should have. But I just assumed it was gonna be safe on the boat. But like everyone else's was. <laughs> like everyone else's was, just mine is completely soaked. My passport is soaked, everything is so wet. But lesson learned, if it's raining and you're going to be in transit, put that rain cover on. We made it. Yay. Yay. That boat was a little bit choppy for me. It feels a little bit fluky. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Welcome, guys. Yes, that is yours. And ah, nice room. Nice bathroom. Ooh, I like the shower. Ooh, I like the shower. And we got a kitchen, so we can cook. So this is like the most budget-friendly option for us. The reason that we are here is because my mom has been renting an apartment out here. So that gave us a free place to stay. Her partner is doing some real estate out here. So he's here quite a bit right now. So there you go. I'm gonna link some info down below if you are interested in finding some property around Belize because he is the guy to talk to. So his link will be down in the description below. And yeah, I mean, otherwise it's still a part of paradise and this is gonna be the most time that I've spent here. So we'll see how it goes, but hey, a free place. I can't say no to that. So, isn't that right, Ross? Yeah. You look cool. Thank you. <laughs> well, we were on the hunt for a store and we've already found one. Whoa. 
Boom! This has to be one of the biggest grocery stores. Or stores in general. There's bras. Did you guys need some bras? Yeah, I Yeah, oh man, the spices smell really good. Organic's expensive, huh? Yeah. The one thing I always like to do is try the local crisps for potato chips. Because there's some deliciousness out there to be found. So, compared to the cake hawker, it definitely feels like we are in a big city. Ooh, I found cheese. Cheese. You guys found the sweet aisle. <gasps> Busted. Caught you. Yeah. I forgot how much stuff we got. <laughs> I know. All that food we just bought was 117 Belizean dollars. About 60 US dollars. So we've got breakfast for the rest of the time we're here, which is the next three days, and we've got dinner tonight. So if you can rent a place that has a kitchen, I always recommend that because it does save you a good bit of money. Especially when you are in slightly pricier places like San Pedro is. Oh, it's a kitty cat. <gasps> Hi. Why oh, are you so talkative? What's going on? Hi. Oh, hi. I know. Oopsie. You have to pull, not push. <laughs> okay. So I'm totally in the middle of something here. Bye. I thought I would point out what a lucky, lucky lady I am. Because these guys are over here while I'm working, cooking up a storm. Yeah. It smells delicious. See Italian core that's coming out. Yeah. We don't have, doesn't exist. I made that up. <laughs> not Italian. Maybe look Italian, but not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right, yeah, that's how you met them. Yeah. So then told them to evacuate to San Pedro. <laughs> yeah. That's what told me to go to San Pedro. <laughs> that's the right thing to go I was like, if there is an evacuation, you're going to be solely responsible for just mad panic. Is it the last week it was weird being the first, first, the gooseberry, a third wheel? Oh, the third wheel? Yeah. They know they don't really do anything romantic anyway. They're just mates. <laughs> okay, so we've had dinner. I'm just going to finish my wine, shut the computer down, and call it a night for today. I think we're all pretty tired the last couple of days. Have worn us out. Maybe we're just old. I don't know. <laughs> and we... We'll see you tomorrow.